here's the Academia's Distinguished Scholar Award. It looks like you found yourself a partner. The event is just about to start. I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. It's called... Dongo... Dongo! Correct! The path will be now. We don't want anyone to beat us to... What are you looking at? What are you looking at? sensed anything particular. <laughs> Once in my wandering travels, I came upon a bridge, and I had been told that an ominous presence awaited those who crossed that bridge at night. It was said that there were a pair of lovebirds who tragically fell into the water below and perished. Their grieving spirits converged around the bridge and were never dispersed. So I picked a night to cross the bridge, and as I was crossing, I heard some voices. I stopped and listened for some time, 
and realized it was a couple disguised as ghosts who blackmailed passers-by for their belongings. They were arguing over how to split their ill-gotten loot. Huh. After hearing that, Hyman doesn't feel so scared anymore. What are you looking at? Careful, there's something up above. <laughs> What's this? Huh? Fireworks? Whew. I'm almost scared half to death. I'm also curious about what's over there, but we should continue following the signs for now. It looks like the event is... It's called... Dango, man. Correct! The path will... Now. We don't want anyone to beat us... sensed anything particularly different. How about I tell you a story? Once in my wandering travels, I came upon a bridge, and I had been told that an ominous presence awaited those who crossed that bridge at night. It was said that there were a pair of lovebirds who tragically fell into the water below and perished. Their grieving spirits converged around the bridge and were never dispersed. So, I picked a night to cross the bridge, and as I was crossing, I heard some voices. And... and then? I stopped and listened for some time, and realized it was a couple disguised as ghosts who blackmailed passers-by for their belongings. They were arguing over how to split their ill-gotten loot. Huh. After hearing that, Hyman doesn't feel so scared anymore. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Let's go, Uchi. Huh? Who's there? Weird. That short guy doesn't look very scared. Come on, Uchi. Show him what you got. That's what I'm talking about. You scared now? <laughs> ah, so that's what's going on here. In this case, it might just be better to pretend to be scared. What are you looking at? I'm also curious about what's over there, but we should continue following the signs for now. Hmm. It seems we'll be the first to find it. Why do you say that? I can sense a sweet aroma on the wind. The dango milk should be nearby. Really? Let Paimon have a look. Oh, you're right! There it is! Yippee! Who would have guessed we'd be the first ones? Hmm? But what's that scarecrow doing here? Careful. Sure worked on Paimon, but that should 
be the end of it, right? There doesn't seem to be anything else around here. It seems the test wasn't as scary as I'd anticipated. However, I've enjoyed the experience together with you. Now that we've found the Dongo milk, we can head back the way we came. What's the matter? Is there something over there? Ah, I see. So she is at the test of courage, too. To avoid any unnecessary complications, I'd prefer not to meet with her. You may pass on my regards. There's a lot of dongo milk here. I'll take half of it back and leave the rest to you. Till we meet again. Hey? Whoa, it's really you! What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Miko told me about the Test of Courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Ah, so that's why you're here! So what do you think of the Test of Courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. I wasn't scared by anything. But on the contrary, some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Miko! Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the Dongo milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round, too. Ah, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. I took a brief look and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura, the thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Akitsu Hazara? What's that? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazara when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh, does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Well, sadly, the past has all but vanished. But... Seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. Sounds like it could be fun! Paimon would like to play! If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Yay! I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds, so please, Keep up the effort, and give it your best until the end. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course! <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. You think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Oh, the more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh. 
This whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. <sighs> anyway, the first round of the event should be finished by now, so let's head back. What'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? Oh, uh, what Paimon think? Uh, Paimon was hiding behind you the entire time, so Paimon didn't really notice Ito scaring us at all. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. You ready? We've got people to scare. We're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them, Ito? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. Huh? What are we, a bunch of kids now? Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly what'll scare them. The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like, this is boring, and let's go home. But it's dark, and their guard is down. Now's our chance. Having the three of us suddenly come flying out of the bushes is gonna scare them real good. Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next ambush spot. Shh, you hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump on zero. Three. Two. You're not... expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you're one to talk. You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. <clears throat> well, you, sh you shouted ghost, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Which means they were afraid of us, too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha! <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. 
Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, right. The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. So... Second that, Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paima behind! Ever! Hmm, it looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. But then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous! <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. has a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? Oh, fine. Let's go take a look then. But the second we see anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it? <sighs> well, we've already walked all the way here. Hmm. Wonder where those three went. Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Hey! Listen up, you three little wimps! Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourselves! Someone actually here! Paimon's scared again! <sighs> so it's just gonna be a few more days. Just... Don't do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. Are you... talking to me? To... someone like me? Ah! You have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately! Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever! I won't warn you again. Now, away with you! Be gone! Wake up! Hey, Traveler, wake up! Thank goodness you're okay. Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. Uh, please don't eat Paimon! Paimon doesn't taste very good! <laughs> please avenge Paimon! Paimon? 
scary person? Okay, I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell me all the details. As I suspected, there appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. You were commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Yakitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Ah, so you've heard of it. The game quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Could it be run by ghosts? Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage, so visitors have gradually returned again. But I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. Wait, so the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still decided to hold their event here? But Ayato must be one of the smartest guys we know! What the heck was he thinking? Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. As for my commission, apparently someone reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. According to his own account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, the testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the Test of Courage. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth, so I'm here to investigate. Anyway, don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir.
Well, the second round of the test of courage is about to begin. Hmm. Paimon wonders if the Shrine Maiden knows anything about what Hazo told us. Let's go ask her.
Hey, you guys finally made it. I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? to explain. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed, too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. Anyway, I was so focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time! Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail him with a surprise attack! You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest, got it? Okay, see you later. Wait, Ito! Uh, he ran off again. His plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Congratulations on winning the first round of the Test of Courage! Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Hey! Cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrifying! Oh, really? Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. Uh, no, that's not what Paima means! Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event! So what? You've heard the stories about the Test of Courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them, and yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around! Ah, really? <laughs> I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the Test of Courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you, so it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon! If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. <sighs> Let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. Hey there! Congrats on winning the first round of the Test of Courage! Toma! Wait, 
Were you also a contestant in the first round? I sure was. But I couldn't shake this constant feeling that someone was secretly following me the entire round. He didn't seem to be from the Yashiro Commission, and I was concerned that he might be out to stir up trouble at the event, so I tried to capture him. I didn't expect him to run so fast. I gave chase for a while, but I couldn't keep up. And before I knew it, the round was over. Hmm. Is there a chance he wasn't there to cause trouble? Maybe he was just trying to scare people. Coming all the way to the test of courage to scare people? Well, I guess the world is full of all kinds of weirdos. Anyway, I'm gonna be sure to show everyone my abilities in the second round. Oh, Paima remembers you once mentioned you like Kaidon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> once I really get into it, you might find me to be your toughest competitor. <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. I'm not here for the prizes, just to have fun. My lord has granted me a rare vacation, so I'd rather spend my time relaxing than worrying about some contest. Speaking of which, have you found a partner yet? Would you like to pair up with me? Really? Uh, thank you! <laughs> I can't guarantee we'll be able to win the second round, but I'll do my best to help. Let's give it our best shot! You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the Test of Courage. It's a fan. A fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself, and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer! <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up! Let's go! Hmm? Did something fall down here? Oh, <laughs> it's Simone Kabuto. Don't worry, this species is very docile. They're not nearly as scary as they look. If anything, they're more scared of us than we are of them. Let's leave them alone and they'll eventually climb back up into the tree. <sighs> I'm feeling a little worn out myself. Let's stop and take a break for a while. <sighs> I'm feeling a little worn out myself. Let's stop and take a break for a while. Yeah, you're right. Please, wait here for a moment. I'll go check it out. Be careful, Toma! 
The sound doesn't seem to be coming from the inside of the shrine. Maybe it's from behind? Huh? Oh, it's just a little cat. How did you end up here, hmm? Are you hungry? Just a second. I have some dried fish with me. Here you go. us. Is it a floating lavender melon? Huh? Where? Ah, you're right! That was the last thing I was expecting to see. How did they manage that, I wonder? I brought some homemade sushi and onigiri that I prepared. Would you like some? Yes, please! Would you guys like some sushi too? Uh, huh? Why do these statues seem to be staring at Paimon? Wait, are these statues supposed to be facing this way? And the candles went out. Is there something scary happening here too? Uh, anyway, here's the sushi. Wait, where are you going? Huh, I didn't expect to find a stall here. Do they have anything to eat? I'm not sure. The owner's nowhere to be seen. Now that I look at it, this stall is pretty dirty. The wood seems to be pretty old, and is caked with dust. Well, guess I'll have to spruce it up a little. It's a dead end! Ugh, where did they hide that fan? Uh, another stuff? It sure looks familiar. These lanterns are here. They sure make the path a lot brighter. You think so? I might think they look a little spooky. <laughs> I don't think there's any reason to worry. Despite what the lanterns look like, whoever placed them here probably didn't mean any harm. Believe me, there's plenty of other options if they intended to cause us harm. All right, let's continue, shall we? This must be the fan we're looking for. Seems we're the first to find it, too. <laughs> Our luck's not so bad after all. Let Paimon see! Oh, it has fireworks printed on it, so it must be for some sort of festival. Huh. Paimon thought Ayata would choose a folding fan. You know, like the kind Ayaka usually uses. You're right. This fan doesn't appear to be something my lord would usually use. Anyway. Let's head back, now that we found it. Hmm... Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh... Why don't we have a look around? Hmm? Are you planning to stay here? 
then allow me to take the fan back. But remember, you're only one round away from taking home the grand prize. Make sure you get yourselves ready and give it your best shot. I've got you now! Ah, just run! Don't worry about me! Ha! Don't underestimate this, Oni! None of you are getting away today! Hey! It's Ito! It looks like he captured those three we were looking for! Let's go see! Wow, Ito! You really captured them! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you. Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Uh, and Ito, why are you... So quiet all of a sudden. Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know. These are all creatures from the ultimate yokai field guide that Granny used to show me. There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. They're all yokai. It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pff, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard! Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you, following him around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Aha! So it was you three! No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to... Uh... Um... Uh... Really? You're not... mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um, well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. One hosted by the yokai, but humans are also welcome to attend. Ah, the festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right, it used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, but still. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But... We're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes... They would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters, allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to you. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So... Are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. 
After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the Traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, uh, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ugh, what a pain. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. Ah. This is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Uh, then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara...